Welcome to the old sawmill, the home of Somerset Cricket Club. Uh, it's, this is a Surrey Championship Division 3 second 11 game between Somerset in the field and Old Wimbledonians batting. Uh, we join the game, it's the 10th over, the score's 20 for 1. Johnny Longcock is uh, bowling up the hill and he's just got a wicket. Uh, viewers of the Silly Point podcast, there will be a link below, will be uh, pleased to see that Johnny did actually manage to get off the tractor. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and watch the podcast and um, hopefully you'll find it jolly entertaining. Very windy today. Causes a few wood oh here. That's a that's a bit of a bit of a filthy one. Get away with it. Slow outfield today. It's been a lot of rain. Captain Richard Key bowling down the hill. Oh, swing and a miss there. This is week five of the league season, um, and we switch from 50-50 limited overs cricket with field restrictions and bowling restrictions to uh, what's called a timed game or 100 over cricket. So uh, there'll be a declaration um, at some point, unless the batsmen are all out. And then uh, you win the game if the side batting second, if you score more runs, obviously. Um, and you win the game bowling second if you bowl the opposition out. Otherwise, it's a draw. So some may say this is uh, this is proper cricket. Good start for here from Sanderstead, who are lying seventh in the table, and Old Wimbledonians are eighth. Well, the only bowling restriction in these games is that no bowler can bowl more than 14 overs. Uh, fielding, oh, that was uh, straight, but. Not out. Maybe a bit too much tweak there for Johnny. <laughs> oh, that's a nice shot. Oh, and that's uh, for his legs. Saddles up from the first team. Characteristic misfield. But it's a couple of runs. And that's, yes, that's uh, not a great ball. That's a lovely shot. Half volley, and that's not going to go though. Or is it? It's a teaser. So, a change of bowling. Yeah. Cash has talked himself on, which is fair enough. The spin is the, the, spin is the way today, I feel. So another change of bowling. Matt Taylor coming on. Bowls a very interesting bit of left arm spin. Uh, good bowler actually, it turns the ball a lot. Uh, the good thing here is that it's the 17th over and this is the third spin bowler we've seen. That's, a, that's an old spin bowler myself. Um, oops, this is lovely, but that wasn't. Anyway, everyone's entitled to a loosener. Well, that's, the, that's the last time I big up a bowler when he comes on. Ooh, he's done it again, not quite as short. And that's another four. So I've got Bob uh, Longcock with me. Hello, Bob. Good afternoon, Dano. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Did you see uh, see the boy in the podcast the, the other evening? I did. A Strider tractor. Absolutely. It was uh, it was magnificent. Um, so was the tractor. Um, <laughs> so, Bob, uh, the chaps were just saying that um, they saw this bloke at Cardiff playing playing a guitar that's uh, formed out of a cricket bat. Um, I play a little bit of guitar. Um, Quite fancy one. Uh, how about we uh, try and get a Black Knight bat turned into a in, into a guitar? You up for that? Well, I think so. It's not one of the product lines that, that our market research so far has turned up, but, but I, I think it's a great idea. What I really heard was that yes, you're up for it. I think you heard correctly, Dan. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Well, I'm going to get in touch with this chap and uh, see what see what sort of deal he'll do. Oh, oh my God! No, that's it's got uh, that tailor, yes, it's catching. Yeah, that's another four. So let's see if Matt can find a spot. That's a much better length. Ooh, loopy one. Well bowled. Bowled. 
talking in the third person and all that. That's right. Oh, oh that one has to be out. Three. That's how you do it. Stick in. And that's uh, equity down, 57 for two, is 23rd over. Oh, football. Oh, he could get, one, could get one with that. And that's a uh, good catch from Keezy. That's um, three down. Can't necessarily say that he deserved that, but, uh, but he got it. So, 58 for three, it's the 25th over, and it's only 20 past one. So, Sonos are doing a great job here of rattling through the overs. That's the, the other side benefit of using mainly spinners. Good stuff. And resume after drinks. 58 for three, halfway stage. The seed is set. Black Knight Bats on the move. Pete Payne's there, our fixture secretary, Codger, used to be first event in Bowler, and Bob Longcock. And they just stop for a rest and they're just changing their tactic now. So, that's a uh, good over, another over gone. Now let's catch up on the more interesting stuff going on around the ground. So, just a little pan around here, you can see the the trees being really buffeted around in the wind. It's, it really is really quite windy. It's, um, it's going to mess up with the sound a little bit, so apologies for that. There we go, they finally found a home for it. That's better. Oh, and that's uh, a little bit of a stick there, I think. Oh, and that's, uh, we'll put that down as a shoe, tough one, uh, that's four runs. 80 now for three, it's, uh, well, 84 for three, it's the 34th over. And that's three and that's four. So, for my money, Sana said, just, just letting this uh, slip a little bit, um, I fear that uh, we're trying to we're trying to make wickets happen. A few too many loose balls and a lot of variation. Just need to be patient. So Bob Holland's coming on now. Fellow Codger is with us on the golf trip. Anyone that follows the Instagram will see a post we put up last week with Dutchie hitting. Well, one of the finest shots you'll ever see in golf. Straight down the middle, a little bit of draw to go around the dog leg. Followed by me topping one into the water. But Dutchy has uh, been at the club forever. I think he's 50 next year. Oh, doesn't it show? That's better bowling. Oh, that's a horrible ball. Just get back to line and length. Well, old Wimbledonians have picked up the pace here, not, not with anything silly, but uh, they're running a lot of quick singles, punishing short balls, and uh, turning ones into twos. Good basic cricket, really. Sala said, almost allowing it to happen. Well, here's a thing we don't see very often. Yogi coming on a bowl. I remember in his younger days, Yogi was a pretty damn useful first or second change bowler. So I'll pitch it up there a little bit more, Yogi, and you'll be just fine. Certainly found the right line. Well, ignore me then. So, the uh, combined age of these two bowlers has got to be, I don't know, 90? 
It's got to be up there. Uh, both have been stalwarts of the club. Ah, and that should be out, and it is. That's a super catch from Dano. Bob Holland strikes, one for the old guard. Super stuff, that's four down, is 113, it's the 40th over. Ooh, that might be over him. It's hit the trees and come down, that's a six. And with 40 overs gone there, uh, Wimbledonians are, well, they'll be thinking about what sort of score they want there. Playing with a little bit more aggression. Um, I would suggest 170 would be a decent score on this track, but uh, they'll probably be thinking 200. Probably, that would probably suggest they're going to go 55 overs. And in order to stop that, Simon said need to get a couple of wickets. Obvious, really. And that's uh, powered past Longcock. And four through mid wicket. Run's coming quite easy now for Wimbledonians. Quick singles, a few twos. But that could be out. Nope, so 133 for four, it's uh, 42 overs gone. It's a lovely shot. A couple of bounces into the hedge. Bob Hollins continues for some reason. Drop and run now. Yeah, he continues. Field pretty well spread at 146. But, ooh, that's uh, picked up beautifully. It's going to be a couple of bounces into the covers. And that's short ball. That's hit away for four. Quite beautifully. Yeah, I think this makes sense. The return of Longcock. They'll try and get after him. That might be what uh, picks up the wicket or two. 154 for four now, 45 overs gone. Uh, old Wimbledonians have got license to slap now. Ooh, a bold. That's good work there. Super stuff. 9.5 from the Sanderstead judge. Oh, and that's pretty horrible full toss there. Oh, and that's picked up beautifully. Don't bowl at this bloke's legs. Oh, bit of an early dive there from Boomer. And Wimbledon should be pretty pretty happy with progress here. Um, I thought 170 might be a decent score. I think they're going to be... Oh, that was a great attempt. Yeah, uh, they're going to be... They're going to be looking at 200 plus now. So it's a question of... Yeah, I want to do it as close as possible to the 50 over mark. Don't want to go too far over 50. It's launched straight up in the air. Horrible, horrible long hop from Longcock. Six lumps. Oh, missed again. Lockie looks like he's getting quite angry there. This could be interesting. You don't want to see him when he's angry. In fact, you, you do really. It's quite amusing. So Keezy comes in again, bowling right arm round to a guy who's very strong off his legs. He's got, and uh, yeah, feeding it, but. I guess there's method in the madness somewhere, it's just a single. Oh, that's in the air, could be out. And it is, that's a superb diving catch from Cash. Knew the cameras were here. Started off a little bit late just so we could get the dive in, I think. Super catch, that's uh, five down, 178, it's the 50th over. Yeah! 
And Boomer takes a catch. Yeah, that's a, another full toss, another wicket. Six down now. Cash back into the attack after that magnificent catch. And on the money straight away. It's lovely to be brought on when you've got two brand new batsmen in and uh, needing to score quick runs. Well, that's a nice shot. That's one bounce into the side screen. So Wimbledon is now beyond the halfway stage. <laughs> oh dear. And uh, yeah, we really need to be need to be looking for runs here. Otherwise, they're wasting these overs. Oh, that's better. Not even a half attempt to dive there from Johnny. Oh, hello. That's poor ball and that's four as a result. Ooh, mood away. And it's four. That's all right. We're bold. So that's uh, seven down now. Still no sign of a declaration. 203. It's a 54th over. Ooh. Another one goes past him. Fifty-fifth and final over. It's just the one. And that's love beautifully hit straight for four. And that's uh well bowl, drew him out. And that's a good stumping. Joe Baldwin there behind the stumps. On, young keepers, that's a uh, 210 for eight. Good running. And that's it. That's uh, 212 for eight off 55. The Sarnas said innings. Um, 213 to win off a minimum of 45 overs. Um, Alex Ranger facing and Yogi, um, non-striker, opening the batting. This is the second over, the first over went for 13. A couple of uh, tremendous shots by each of these batsmen. It's a good start. Right behind it. Ooh, that's a tremendous shot. Smote through long off the four. 20 for none, off four. That's a super shot from Yogi, trademark stuff. Absolutely glorious. Uh, really is still an amazingly fine batsman. Playing in the twos. Oh, superb shot by Alex. That's uh, put over deep back of point for four. Marvellous. Well, unfortunately, Yogi very unfortunate run out there, he's mad as hell. Um, absolutely mad as hell, not surprised, he was looking in imperious form. Um, very, very unfortunate run out. Dear, oh dear. Anyway, that's uh, 30 for one. It's the uh, six over. And catches off the mark. Oh, majestic shot. One bounce, four runs. Shot out. They picked up one. Ah. Oh, good shot, run up. It's not going to go, or is it? Another teaser. Super. That game nicely poised and a bit of um, leg spin into the attack. The equation is Sana said need. Uh, 170 off 33 overs, unless, uh, unless they rattle through their overs a bit quicker. From Wimbledonian's point of view, in order to win the game, they have to bowl Sarna set out, so they've got to get nine wickets in the remaining 32 overs. That's, that's a wicket every three and a half overs or so. So, uh, you know, it could be a bit of a stalemate, dull draw here, but you never know. The other way to look at this is that uh, Old Wimbledonians to win, that's 
a lovely shot for four. Um, we've got to take nine wickets in the remaining 31 and a half overs. It's a wicket every three and a half overs. Look at that, we really must fix the hundreds digit on the scoreboard. It's 212 score. Nicely pushed out from cash. Spin on both ends now. And that's put him down. So they're going to go second here. Cash gets away with that one. Ooh. It's 154 needed off 27 overs. That's uh, a little bit above five. Only one wicket down though. There we go. 24 overs left to get 143. Yeah, a bit of early evening sunshine. Uh, Sana said in here around about six and over. Old Wimbledonians need nine wickets. There's uh, 22 and a bit overs left. Could be a thriller. Nice. A few dots here, a good tidy bowling. Run rate creeping up. It's just a little over six and a half now. Uh, but wickets in hand are going to be the key to this. No need to panic. Yeah, that's nice to hit. Should be a couple here. Well stopped. Uh, good over there, just the two from it. Uh, up at about seven over now, off the last 19 overs. Well, and that's hit finally, very finely. Four runs. Cheers. Mm, reasonably tight bowling. The trick is not to get frustrated. Balls being hit straight to fielders. Pressure building now. Ooh. A bit more. And again, straight to the man. Another one, that's all. Didn't middle it, but uh, should get a couple. And he does. So, what's that? 119 off 16. Just a little over seven and over now, but uh, nine wickets in hand. Cash being watchful. I think he knows that uh, if he's there at the end, he can unloose a bit. Next two batsmen in, just going for a little nervy stroll. What are they saying? I wonder. Oh, that's about seven and a half and over. It's just. Uh, Maybe a couple more overs, then we'll then we'll start to up the tempo. No need to panic. That's it, cash unleashes, and that's six. No, it's not. It's four. A couple of bounces. Oh, that's, oh, that's good shot. That's over the top. Four. Yeah. And that's uh, pressure's got to him. That's two down now. 33rd over. over. So as the run rate's creeping up towards nine, we've sent in the big guns. So Saddles comes in. Ah. Saddles looking solid as a blamange. And that's the, the run rate creeps up to nine and over. Cash. Yeah, pushes out, looking at two, but good field of this lad. Ball throw. Yep, yep, yep. What am I doing? Well, with 102 now needed off 11, we're at 9.3 and over now. Uh, cash remaining watchful. Getting in in ones. Massive pressure building on the new batsman to come. 
This bowler though, he's bowled an excellent spell, um, may well be close to his last over, which might make a difference. Saddles, yeah, it's driven one through long off. That's, uh, that's the saddles we know, super shot. Need more. And that's gone into orbit. It's safe. And it's two. Well, eight came off that last over. Relatively easily. So it can be done. Oh, Saddles launches one. That's, uh, that's going to be six. Uh, yes, six straight into the sight screen. Super shot. And that could be out. Can't see it. Yeah. And it is. Well caught. So that's uh, the third wicket down now. 125. Just the one there. So, skipper. Richard Keyes comes in now. He can give it a bash. He needs to. Well, he's off, off the mark straight away. With a four. So I think that's 82 needed off eight. Ten and over, seven wickets in hand. Is it, uh, is it going to be slightly out of reach? Our responsibility now switches to Cash. He's uh, the man with the eye in. Uh, very capable. Middling it. Straight to men though. Oh, that's put him down. 79 off sevens. Over 11s now. Yeah, no one can really hit it. So final six, this, uh, this now has to be the moment. Come on, we can't do that anymore. Wicket's in hand. Can't lose this game. I assume we're going for the draw now. 15 and over for the win, 7 and over for the winning draw. Should be two. Makes it. It's going to be one. Easy two. Oh, that's more like it. That's four. Oh, that's well stopped. So 174 is the realistic next target for the winning draw. Need 29 or 4 for that. That's uh oh just bounced short of him. It's a single. Ah, that's more like it. And that's a proper six. There we go, 19 now for the winning draw, lots for the win. Winning draw target based on simple run rate. Let's, uh, let it go, let it go, let it go! Let's launch into orbit, man right under it. And he's taken it. So that's four down, 157. And Keyes has is hit a six, which is more like a nine. So nine, we think, to get the winning draw off two overs. Come at the hour, come at the long cock. And he's off the mark, that's just going to be one, I think. What? Nicely hit by Glocky. Into the deep, it's easy two. Johnny wants three, but not going to get it. Oh, that's a massive six. Six, more like a, wow. That really has gone a long way. Monster six. 
Good shot from Lucky. And that one's out. Lucky goes. Boomer, Daniel Linux, first team skipper. Uh, just going to calm things down. The winning draw is assured and don't really think any other result could possibly happen now with just three balls left to go. Ah, and that's uh, that's out too. Dell not exactly uh, clear in his decision making, but hey ho. So the last ball. That's beautifully tickled down for a single, and that uh, ends the innings. 177 for six of 45 overs. I'm afraid Wimbledonian's declaration was probably a little too late. Uh, and uh, conversely, Sana says charge for the run runs was probably left a little too late anyway uh, it's a winning draw so Sarnas said get the bulk of the points well played well played everybody super stuff well handshakes all round and um, I think we go and enjoy a pint or two of Pilgrim in the bar courtesy of our brewery partner the excellent Pilgrim Brewery from Rygate